the Saudi Arabian League ruining football? I feel like this question has many different answers to it and many different breakdown points. Today, that is what we are going to talk about. Now, my personal opinion, I think yes, the Saudi League is ruining football and no, the Saudi League isn't ruining football. <laughs> I know, what a contradiction to itself. Here's one key thing I think about. No matter how many players the Saudi League brings in or how much money they spend, I don't think they will ever be near the level of the Premier League or Champions League in terms of size of popularity. Like, people aren't going to just suddenly stop supporting their clubs to just to go watch the Saudi League. And Champions League football isn't suddenly going to disappear just because of the Saudi League. I mean, if the Super League happens again, then God help us all. But the Super League, I think, is a... Uh, dead for now or at least hopefully dead for long enough another key thing i want to think about quickly is when you look at the saudi league and all the players they have brought in this summer and you compare it to a league like the premier league the players the saudi league have brought in massive compared to the big signings the premier league has brought in christopher Nkuku, andre onana Musa Diaby, Paul torres there's a few big names there some others i've probably forgotten about and then when you look at the saudi league Kareem Benzema, Engolo Kante, potentially Kylian Mbappe. Those are three absolute massive names in football. And there are so many others who have gone over with them. So while the Saudi League has probably had a better transfer window than the Premier League or any other league this season, maybe except La Liga, obviously Jude Bellingham coming in is huge. But that's only really one signing. I don't think all of those players are suddenly going to just kill the other leagues. Obviously, it's the start of something worrying, the start of something that could potentially see the end of European football. But personally, I don't see that happening. European football has stood through it all, and I think it will continue to stand even with this Saudi League thing going on. I feel like the Saudi League is kind of becoming the better MLS, the MLS 2.0. Um, obviously, there's way more money in this league and the players are on ridiculous wages. And obviously, clubs are spending so much money on signing these players, which is, you know, mind-blowing. Obviously, Al Halal with a bid of 300 million euros for Kylian Mbappe, which we spoke about yesterday. However, these clubs spending this money on the big players might actually be beneficial for European football. Chelsea, the clear out this summer, have generated so much money from getting rid of dead players. Uh, and obviously, it's a good thing. We wanted these players gone. We wanted them away from the club. Saudi Arabia have come in, offered us tons of money for them, and we've managed to get rid of players we wanted gone. So in some ways, I could see it's beneficial. I mean, maybe they'll come in and buy Harry Maguire for like 50 million. United fans will be over the moon with that. Obviously, I don't see that happening anytime soon. I don't, I don't think anyone really wants Harry Maguire. Harry Maguire! But you know, in some ways, it is beneficial for European clubs. However, when they buy players like Kylian Mbappe, Karim Benzema, and Golo Kante, I can see the downside to it. Those are three world-class players. Could argue N'Golo Kante and Karim Benzema are getting on a bit and they do have very bad injury problems. But injuries always play a part in football. They're not something new and they're just something we have to live with. Obviously, Wesley Fofana is injured. He's been naming a lot of Frenchmen. But when the Saudi League does come in and buy big players like that, and if they do get someone like Kylian Mbappe, one of the biggest names in world football at the moment, the joint most valuable player in the world, it is kind of dead. Obviously, we want to see Kylian Mbappe playing in European football, playing in the Champions League. But when he goes over to Al Halal, even if it's just for a year, there's a whole year of his career wasted, a whole year of footballers not watching him play. So I do see how that there kind of ruins the big momentous stage that is European football. However, if Kal Kylian Mbappe does go to Al Halal for a year, I can completely understand why. The money on the table is absolutely ridiculous. And even though I've just argued it is a year of his career wasted, it's also a year of his career where he can try it out in the Saudi league probably kill it there and then return to European football. I did speak about Mbappe in yesterday's video. Like I already mentioned, there'll be a card on screen. So I do think there is multiple different breakdown points of is the Saudi Arabian League ruining football. Personally, I don't think it's killing football. I don't think this is the end of football, but I do see why there are many issues surrounding the Saudi Arabian League and how it could pose a potential threat to the Premier League, to the Champions League, to La Liga, etc. I don't think that threat is really at the point we need to be properly worrying about it yet. It's very much the start of something. Obviously, Cristiano Ronaldo has opened the floodgates. Now the players are flooding in. I really think this season is going to be massive for the Saudi League, seeing how it performs. I have a question for you guys watching. Will you be watching Saudi League football this season? season i might watch a few of the games i might even stream them on the channel because they are free to watch on youtube the fact that i can watch a saudi arabian league game like al nassar versus al hilal for free on youtube whereas if i want to watch chelsea v bournemouth on a saturday at three o'clock i can't because it's not televised in my country the country it's being played in 
Like, are you dumb? That rule needs to go. Like, it needs to go. That's a whole different topic for a whole different video. Anyway, please let me know your thoughts on the Saudi League below. Those are my thoughts. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to smash the like, subscribe if you're new. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have an amazing rest of your day. Stay safe, stay cracking. Fair enough, and au revoir.